Hello and welcome to Zoom In. For some time now, I have been using the Nikon Z6 mirrorless camera to take video and images from my microscope. And a lot of people have asked me, well, how do you mount it? What equipment do you use? Well, I was going to make a video on the system I cobbled together, but it turns out that one of the pieces is no longer for sale. However, I have recently found something that will work as well. So I just wanted to show you what that is. So of course, part of the system is a Nikon Z camera. Another thing we need is a C mount for the Nikon Z camera. This is the Tipon CN2Z. And this basically uh, goes onto the camera just like a lens would. And then the new thing I've just tried out is a camera tube that is for the Modic DA series of microscopes. So I'm gonna put all this together and we'll see how it works. So the first thing we wanna do is attach the camera mount onto the photo tube. And that's very easy. We just simply find the appropriate side. There's the seam out side. And then we just put it in place and screw it on. There we go. And now this is effectively just like a lens. That's how we're going to mount it onto the camera itself. There we go. Now we have our system. All we have to do is mount it onto the microscope and we'll see how it works. There, the camera is mounted. I'm just going to connect the camera now to the monitor via an HDMI and we should be ready to go. All right, so we have an image. The first obvious thing is that we have a circular field of view and this gives the impression that you get a full field of view. However, what I seem to be missing is about the outer quarter of the field of view that I see through the eyepieces. So I'm not getting a full field of view. The next question is image quality. And it really looks like the image quality is really pretty good. In a future video, I'll do a more rigorous testing of the quality and compare it with other systems, including the lab cam, which is really quite popular. Now, of course, a huge question here is, is this parfocal? Am I going to be able to look through the ocular lenses of the scope and see a nice clear image and simultaneously see a nice clear image on the screen? And the answer is generally yes. Under the 4X lens, I'd say I have to give the fine focus about a full turn, which is a little more than usually what I expect. But when I get up to the higher objectives, I barely have to move the focus knob at all. So I'd say the par focality is really quite good and really quite surprising since we're really combining systems, an Amscope microscope with a Modic photo tube. So what we have is a system that allows us to get images and video from an Amscope microscope to a Nikon Z mirrorless camera. So what does all this cost? Well, for the photo tube, this is with all taxes applied, it got to my home at $182. That's pretty expensive. The C mount that goes onto the camera itself is less than $30. So still, it's pretty pricey. We got about $210, $211 for this system that will allow you to get images from this Amscope microscope onto a Nikon mirrorless camera. And I'm interested in knowing what kind of systems do you use to capture video and images from the microscope? Please feel free to write any comments down at the bottom in the comments. Of course, please subscribe and like. That would be greatly appreciated. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you very much for watching.